Now, if you're looking for like new lipsticks, like MAC Myth level new lipsticks, you're not gonna like this. These definitely lean more in the neutral nude category. Neutral nude. Like, should I call this nude lipsticks or neutral lipsticks? Shit. Let's go with the nude lipsticks. We're just gonna go with it. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm showing you my favorite nude lipsticks, both drugstore and high-end. I've got five to show you, so if you wanna see my picks, just keep watching. First up is Fairest Nude from L'Oreal. This is the truest nude of the nude lipsticks I'm going to show you. To me, it has more of a beigey undertone, yet it does not wash me out and make me look like a corpse. I'm okay with looking like a ghost. I'm not okay with looking like a corpse. There is a difference. Easy to wear, I hate the scent, but I usually top it with a gloss that I'm gonna show you in a little bit, which kind of diminishes the scent a good bit, and great drugstore nude lipstick. Next up is my Mauvy Nude. This is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Honey. This is something that I can throw on without thinking about it. It can go with anything. It's definitely somewhat cooler toned than most of the lipsticks that I wear, but I like it. I do find with these that sometimes the stain that's left behind is not exactly the same color as the original application, and as it wears off, it can get a little bit more pink on me. I do like the color still, so I don't mind that, but this is a great mauve nude, especially if you're looking for something that's not warm toned. The Bite Luminous Cream Lipstick in Fig. Now, this is pink. It may be cheating a little bit to call it nude, but I love this color. It's just an easy, everyday shade that goes with anything, and the formula of these is perfection. I have the duo of this. It has date on the other side, which is much more nude. It's a little bit more brown, so sometimes I'll mix the two if I don't want it to be quite so pink. But honestly, if I had to wear one lipstick every single day, it would be this one. When I finish this, I'm gonna get the full size because they do make this in the full size as well, and this one is just gorgeous. The Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Primrose. This one definitely packs the most color punch of all of the nudes I've shown you, and I'm not sure exactly how to describe it. I kind of think it's a combination of all of them. I see the beige, I see the mauve, I see the pink, but it is just gorgeous. If I do a more dramatic eye look, but I don't want my lips to look washed out, this is what I go for. I do have the little mini version of this, but I would totally buy it in the full size. It's a wonderful formula and a really great nude lipstick. The last lip product I have for you today is actually a gloss, so I'm gonna leave this Primrose on. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. This wins my favorite nude gloss award and also my favorite lip gloss award ever just because these are so comfortable and they have the best smell. They smell like vanilla frosting. It's amazing. And I like this because over any of these lipsticks, it looks good. It can tone down a lipstick that's a little bit too strong, but it just gives a really nice non-sticky, that's important, non-sticky finish. I highly recommend the Butter Gloss formula because it is so comfortable. I'll give you a little swatch of it there. I wear this over any of these lipsticks. Those are my favorite nude lip products. What are yours? I recently picked up a couple more. I got, you know the L'Oreal line of nude lipsticks they did with the celebrities? I just picked up Julianne's Nude and Eva's Nude. If you like any of those, let me know. Or any other recommendations, I will check those out. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Robin's Cup. Let's be friends. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can see you next time and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. First up is Fairest. First up is Fairest Nude from L'Oreal. This is just more. First up is. First up is Fairest. 
my lips hurt. Go back. This is just perfection in an eyeshadow palette. If you like warm tones, if you like neutral colors, but you also like to get a little bit of rosiness or gold in your look, then this is...